Wireless communication poses some fundamental challenges to the way that the internet was designed. The core internet and some of the basic internet protocols weren't necessarily designed considering some of the um, impact that wireless links would have. So let me show you sort of the canonical example. So I'm on my uh, I'm on my desktop computer over here and I'm connected to the internet and I'm exchanging data with this server and the data is transmitted over multiple hops and this is kind of our standard story about how the internet works. Now, the protocols that are controlling the flow of information between my computer and the server have this fundamental assumption built into them that has to do with the properties of wired links. So I'm on a wired link. Let's just keep that in mind. I've got wires stretching all the way from me to the server that I'm communicating with. And wired links tend to, now it's not impossible for wired links to drop packets, but they tend to not drop packets. So when a packet gets sent over one end of a wireless li wired link, wired links are set up, they're designed, they're engineered to not drop those packets, whether it's a fiber optic link at the core of the internet or a twisted pair uh, copper link sort of out on the periphery, those links do not drop packets. There is some congestion sometimes, um, but in general, these links have very, very high, uh, high sort of uh, arrival rates, very, very low drop rates. And so what that means is that if a packet doesn't arrive, so let's say the server sends me back some data and that packet does not arrive, what I assume is that the loss was due to congestion at a router. So what I assume is that one of these routers was overloaded, had too many packets to process, dropped packets off the end of the queue or the front of the queue, and that's why my packet didn't arrive. And so what TCP does um, is that when it sees loss, it reacts to it by slowing down because it assumes that it's causing too much traffic at some router. There's some new flow that's been established through that router and there's too much traffic for that router to handle. And so what TCP does to try to share network resources more effectively is it slows down because it assumes that loss is always caused by congestion. So that assumption is violated once I have a mobile device. So here's my smartphone, and that smartphone now has a wireless link to some uh, router here. Here's my famous router, router symbol. And that router has wired links throughout the rest of the internet. But if packets are dropped along this wireless link, so I may be moving, the signal may suddenly get too weak for the router to, um, to detect, or there may be interference in the environment from other signals created by other devices or other sorts of interference. In any case, if that packet is dropped, either on its way to the server or on the way back, the problem is TCP makes the same assumption that it makes over wired links, which is that the drop is due to congestion and it slows down. Now, in certain cases, there can be congestion on the wireless link that can cause loss. So if a bunch of other people have suddenly started to use this router, I may need to slow down anyway. But in other cases, there are other things in the environment that can cause loss that should not result in TCP slowing down. So in certain cases, the loss that TCP experiences um, may not be due to congestion, and the best thing to do might just be to continue to use the same transmission speed. Now, to some degree, the end-to-end -end principle, which is you know, a core part of how the internet was designed, starts to fight against us a little bit here because what we would really kind of like to know is why a packet got dropped or where it got dropped. But we tend not to know that because the IP layer allows routers to drop packets whenever they need to without telling anybody what happened or why. And so it's very hard for the endpoints to distinguish between loss that's caused by congestion at a router, in which case I should slow down, and loss that's caused by a wireless link, in which case the best thing to do might just be to try to maintain the same rate and just retry the packet as soon as possible. So this is one of the ways that the wireless, uh, wireless transmissions um, sort of have, have challenged some of the design of internet protocols. And this is one of the reasons we're starting to see new protocol development at the edge of, of the network in order to try to um, you know, accommodate the growing number of wire, wireless devices.